Weddings take a lot of planning to prepare for the perfect day. The dress, the flowers, the venue, and hopefully good weather. A Greensboro couple had all of that but one. And it wasn't just a case of bad weather. It was Hurricane Helene hitting Independence, Virginia. WFM1 News 2's Hannah Jeffries heard how they turned their canceled wedding into a way to give back. <laughs> Jessica Beebe thought of every single detail. I just uh, chosen these earrings because they matched um, the emerald in my ring. The moment she would say I do to Will Landacre had been two years in the making. Yet when wedding weekend finally got here, so did Hurricane Helene. The rain and winds creating a new river in the middle of their beloved wedding venue. Once the rain stopped, we I went out with a, a couple of guys and helped ch chainsaw some trees and, and remove those from the uh, the state roads that came into the property. After canceling the rehearsal dinner, the bride remained optimistic her big day would still go on. I was like scooping mud out and it felt like I was sweeping the ocean. I mean, it just kept coming in, um, but I was so hopeful that we could get everyone there and just put them on higher ground. Wedding morning came and so did the couple's difficult decision to call it off. With hotels and Airbnbs canceling wedding guests reservations, the pair found themselves with food to feed 60. We had all this food, no, nowhere to go with it, and we just, you know, we decided that we should give it away. The group effort, allowing them to feed a community, hit hard by Helene. It's the only grocery store in town, um, but it was a big parking lot, and we knew that if we posted up there that people could get to us. Um, and they did. For the future land acres, the honeymoon will come before the wedding. But in this case, the order doesn't matter. We're very grateful that we're, we're safe and uh, still going to get married. And we hope that, uh, you know, other people can keep pitching in like they, they have to help clean up some, some of this damage. In Greensboro, Hannah Jeffries, WFMY News 2.